So, what would it look like to go around Earth at the speed of light? Well, I'm guessing pretty quickly, but let's get to the details. Traveling around Earth at the speed of light would be an astonishing sight to behold. If we could magically achieve such a feat, here's what it would look like. As you kicked off your speedy journey, everything around you would get blurred. The landscape would transform into a streak of dazzling lights, like a cosmic fireworks show on Fast Forward. The world would appear distorted, with buildings and landmarks merging into streaks of brilliance as you zip past them. The familiar features of cities would become blur colors, blending together in a mesmerizing display. Day and night would blend seamlessly, since Earth's rotation would become an indistinguishable whirlwind. However, keep in mind that at the speed of light, time itself would behave strangely. To you, the journey might feel instantaneous, but when you return, you'll find that much more time has passed for everyone else. It's like taking a lightning-fast trip while the rest of the world ages. Sadly, achieving the speed of light is currently beyond our technological capabilities. Okay, but do you know what the speed of light actually is? In the vast expanse of empty space, the velocity at which light travels is an astonishingly precise figure. This translates to approximately 186,000 miles per second, a universally recognized constant notated as c, or the speed of light. Drawing from the revolutionary principles of physicist Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity, which forms the bedrock of modern physics, we come to a remarkable realization. Nothing in the entire universe can surpass the velocity of light. According to this theory, as an object comes close to the speed of light, its mass spirals toward infinity. Consequently, the speed of light operates as an indisputable cosmic speed limit, casting its influence over the entirety of the universe. Such is the fixity of light's rapidity – yes, I have a thesaurus – that it finds purpose in defining internationally accepted units of measurement, like the meter and mile. The United States National Institute of Standards and Technology reveals that the speed of light even contributes to the definition of the kilogram and the temperature unit known as the Kelvin. Now, let's talk about the speed of dark. Darkness, the elusive counterpart of light, seemingly travels at the speed of light itself. In reality, Darkness doesn't exist as a distinct physical entity, but is rather the absence of light. Whenever you block out a substantial portion of light, like when you cup your hands together, darkness fills the void. When discussing speeds, we can think of darkness as what emerges once the light ceases to illuminate, and it appears to move at the speed of light. Still with me? Yeah, my brain is starting to ooze out my ears, too. Anyway, let's take a journey to distant space, far away from any light sources, such as the radiant sun. Imagine having a light bulb attached to the nose of your spaceship, emitting its luminosity in all directions through space at the speed of light. Now, if you momentarily turn off the light bulb and then turn it back on, a fascinating phenomenon occurs. Light continues to travel outward in all directions from before you dim the bulb, and subsequent light beams follow after you restore its glow. However, amidst these expanding spheres of light, an intriguing region emerges. It's the space in between there was no light because none was generated during the brief period when the bulb was off. So in this cosmic spectacle, darkness appears to join the journey alongside light seemingly chasing it at the speed of light. It reminds us that even in the absence of light, there is an enchanting interplay between shadows and illumination, each playing its unique role in the vast tapestry of the universe. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.